people look at, I receive the question, it's like, what happens if I lose my money? What's the risk in losing my money? So this is where I want to bring back your attention. Remember, after you pay all your bills and you have disposable income, let's look at the analysis of risk. Meaning, you got an extra hundred dollars. You can go out to dinner, spend a hundred, you'll never see that hundred again. You could buy a purse, some shoes, a hat, you'll never see it again. If you put it into a company, I'll pick one Tesla, let's say Apple, whichever one, or it could be a cosmetics, L'Oreal, whichever one. I'm not giving you advice, just giving examples. But if you put it into a company, let's say a company that's, it costs a hundred dollars and it goes down to 70, you don't sell. Did you lose $30 on paper? You lost $30, but remember, that $70 is still more than the seven, uh, the 100 you spent at dinner. The 100 you spent on shoes. Because that 100 you spent on shoes are gone. They'll never, that, that money will never come back. So, Mr. Wonderful, the guy from Shark Tank says, he likes to send his money out and have them come back with friends. So you put your money into a company. When you decide to sell that ownership in the company, you get some money back. If the company appreciated during the time that you held it, you get more money back. If the company happened to have some challenges and it depreciated, you're getting some money back. Every now and then it's a company, bad companies go totally out of business, mismanaged companies. But if you invest in things you know, you invest in things you buy, your money that you're putting in the market is competing with money that was going to be gone anyway only invest the money that you knew you were going to spend anyway. Thank you.